Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you are a PC gamer or a PC YouTuber, you probably already know that you do have to spend quite a bit of money on buying games and buying programs just to, you know, make your gaming experience better. Uh, or you have to pay for programs that you need so you can make your PC gaming experience better, which sucks. I kind of wanted to help those people out by telling you 8 awesome free PC programs that you should totally get and they're basically essential if you want to improve your gaming experience or if you want to help yourself uh, if you are a YouTuber. Also, just a disclaimer before we start the list, this isn't really uh, a list of programs that you haven't heard already or anything. It's not even, you probably already heard of them or might even have some of them. These are just uh, my personal favorite programs that are free that I use almost daily for, you know, uh, gaming and also, you know, to help my workflow when, uh, since I'm a YouTuber. So the first thing on the list really applies for everyone and it's a program called Flux. So you probably have heard of it or you've probably heard of a program similar to it. Basically, Flux is a software that uh, basically reduces all that uh, bad blue light that your monitor gives off and it gives your screen a nice warm sepia look to it and you can even change when that warm orangey sepia uh, overlay uh, turns on and turns off it, it, there's a nice gradual uh, going from normal to the flux the flux look and uh, it also scans when your sunrise is when your local time zone sunrise is and it turns off flux when sunrise is on and then when the sun set is, is on it automatically turns it back on which is an amazing feature so you basically don't have to touch anything it automatically does it all for you and uh, again it scans uh when the sunrise and sunset is and uh, it's really really useful it's probably you know saved me from sleepless nights many many times because as you guys know or probably maybe you don't know that uh, your computer gives off these nasty blue lights that really strain your eyes especially at late at night and if you go on your computer late at night too much you're not going to be able to sleep uh basically so yeah the flush really helps that and it really just when it turns on at night you really just feel that sense of relief when you see your whole screen is a nice warm orange sepia look to it number two is one you've probably heard of before if, especially if you watch my channel it is paint.net so basically paint.net is your photoshop alternative it is another graphics uh editing software so it doesn't have all the features it's not as robust as photoshop but it's free and in photoshop is hundreds of dollars so uh this is um in my opinion the best alternative there is gimp but uh for me i think paint.net does everything you could want for it to do uh without much of a steep learning curve and uh it's really easy to navigate and i have a lot of tutorials i even have a beginner's guide on how to use paint.net on my channel so if you really want to get into the graphics image editing or you've been using like the paint software the one that comes with windows the whole time uh, consider using page now not to make your thumbnails and your banners and your avatars and stuff like that because it really is you know don't get fooled by the free label it really um all my thumbnails on my channel i've been using pit on it and it's really really good uh image editing software next one unfortunately only applies to those who have nvidia graphics card and that is geforce experience so you probably already have it but you may not realize what all the features it actually can do so uh, a feature i love is that it you know it's basically uh like a steam library for you it, it scans all your games uh from steam from origin from all the games on your computer and you can open it from geforce experience but another thing it can do is actually it can actually optimize your games uh with your games settings so we can run the best possible way in terms of your you know personal computer which is great so and you can even automatically optimize games right when you download them that's a feature you can have with uh, nvidia uh, geforce experience so i really love that factor it, it's sort of like a good organizer tool but my opinion uh is the youtuber gamers dream another feature it has is called shadow play it is a free uh game recording software and only records games but i think it is one of the best game recorders in terms of there is actually like and i say this i, I say this with a, a, a lot of programs but shadow play actually has zero like zero percent performance loss on your games and i've it's basically always recording in the background because it has a, a NVIDIA DVR feature where it can, uh, if you press a button, it will record the last 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes of the gameplay you've had, which is an amazing feature that I've used multiple, multiple times if I've had, like, if I had a good game in PUBG or something, and I realized, oh crap, I wasn't recording, it's okay, I can just press one button, which is Alt F10, and it will record the whole last whole 20 minutes of gameplay and the best part about it is you know that's a proof that that it has zero performance loss because it's always recording basically since using the dvr feature but there's no performance loss and i haven't noticed any 
Uh, the quality may be not as good as maybe fraps or something, but it's very, you probably won't notice it. And you can even, you know, you can just change the colors and, and color correction in your editor too. So yeah, all GeForce experience comes with shadow play. It also, if you have an Nvidia shield, you use that to stream your games onto your Nvidia shield. It's just, if you're at, and if you have an Nvidia graphics card, it's probably, uh, a really, it's an, basically an essential program that you need, absolutely need on your computer. And you should, you probably already have it by default, but just play around with it. And if you, if you only think it's just a thing that you know updates drivers it's not uh play around with it and see all the features that it holds another one is uh your one you've probably already heard of before it's c cleaner so basically this is a um, a nice robust clean way of cleaning all the unnecessary junk you have on on your computer all the bloatware and stuff like that especially if you bought your computer and you didn't build it it probably comes with a lot of bloatware so c cleaner is a way of you know taking uh bleeding all that uh, those unnecessary files your your uh browser history the, those hidden cache cookies and stuff like that and just files that you probably won't be able to get to but actually do take up quite a bit of storage on your computer so c cleaner is a great way just to clean up your computer and you can even customize you know what it cleans up and how much it cleans up and stuff like that it's just a great useful feature and uh you should definitely get it if you think your computer is running low on storage this next one is probably the most versatile uh and and best uh screen recording and game recording software out there obs studio so you are also probably know about this but uh it can also do a lot of things and unlike uh you know nvidia shadow play it can record your webcam your games your screen you can add a face cam you can add text and stuff like that it's basically a it was originally a live streamer so that's why you have all the live streaming features and you can do stuff on the fly change scenes and stuff and uh, it also does local recording and the good thing about OBS is that the performance loss isn't as good, isn't as, like, it doesn't reduce performance as little as Shadowplay, because Shadowplay actually literally has zero performance loss. OBS has a little, a tiny, tiny bit of performance loss when you're playing games, especially for recording in 1080p, 60fps. Um, but, you know, the the good thing about OBS is you, you can't, you don't have to just record your games. I use OBS when, to record my face cams. I use it to record my tutorials when I want to record my screen. And uh, I also use it for basically any other thing besides game recording because uh, it's it's an amazing, versatile, free live streamer and a local recording. So if you're also a live streamer, OBS is probably the best one out there and you're probably already using it. But if you're still using Fraps, you should probably switch to Shadow Play if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, or if you don't, then OBS is your next best bet. So this next PC program is called Handbrake. So basically, it, it is a, a video encoder, and it, it like exports and in, uh, de uh, encodes all your big files, so you can make it smaller, you can compress them. It's basically, it exports them and makes the file size smaller. You can even change the file size type uh, to make it more compatible with, you know, iPhones or, you know, uh, smartphones and tablets and stuff like that, or you can make it you can make a, a VLC file into an MP4, so it's compatible with basically everything then. If you have a iPhone video on your computer and you can't import it to your editing software, because I have that problem a lot, uh, Sony Vegas does not like MOVs for some reason, and you need QuickTime and all that stuff. So if you have that problem, you can use Handbrake to convert it into an MP4, and you can even customize how much compression there is, how much quality loss, and you know what the frame rate is. It's really good just to, you know, uh, compress your video files and it's very useful and I use it a lot when I'm in a pickle in terms of oh I need to change this video file into something so yeah it's very useful I really recommend it so this next one is for those who uh don't really like using the mouse and keyboard or you play games that really would benefit from using a controller and if you don't have an Xbox 360 wired controller or an Xbox controller then this program called DS4 is definitely for you because it basically emulates your PS4 controller uh, as a mouse and keyboard so basically what you can do is install a program you have to download some drivers but it takes you know really quick and it's a first time setup thing so once you install the drivers you're done you have to do you don't have to do anything else you would plug in your controller you would open up ds4 and then you know you would uh, there's also already a preset in there for you that you know thinks that your ps4 controller is an xbox controller so all the buttons are already mapped out and everything so you don't basically you don't have to change any settings so you just plug in your controller open another program uh and then if you want to change any settings you can you don't have to because there's already a preset and then i think there's like a start button or something and then you can use your controller freely in your games which is really nice it's really useful i do use it when i play rocket league and you know games that really benefit from having a controller on my pc so yeah it's a really cool uh program software 
it's free too and it's there's, it's very safe because a lot of these emulators come with a bunch of other stuff but this one it's clean it's really useful and it works very very well finally our last PC program on this list it is called Razer Synapse so you actually don't need a Razer mouse or keyboard or anything like that to get this uh, you if you do have one you probably already have it but if you don't I, I urge you to install it because if you have a, a slightly lower end computer then it has a really cool feature I think it was called like gaming mode or something along those lines where basically if you turn it on and you play your game it temporarily increases your performance while you're playing your game because it you know it it prioritizes the game, it prioritizes performance, and it turns off any unnecessary background operations uh, that is running in the background. So it's really cool if you have a lower end computer. It just gives you that little extra bit of performance juice that you need if you want to get the most FPS from your games and the most performance. So yeah, it's a really cool feature if you want to make your games run faster for that time. You can turn it on and off when you're playing a game, you just turn it on, and when you're you know, done your game, you turn it back off, and then you're back to normal. Alright guys, so that was 8 of some of my personal favorite uh, free PC programs that I use a lot, some I use almost daily, and again, I, they really do help me when I'm, you know, working on videos, when I just want a game, and I want a better experience. Um, I use these a lot, and uh, again, this is not a list that is like lesser known free PC programs. I'm not trying to do like a eight programs you might not have heard of or anything. Uh, this is just, you know, programs that I use and I feel like I want to share them with you. If you if you use all of them or you have all of them, then I'm sorry about this video and help you. But maybe if one or two you didn't know about, then I'm glad I could help you out. Hopefully it, it helps you out when you're gaming or if you're making videos and stuff. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but there's no particular order. Number one isn't the worst or best number, and the last one isn't the best or worst. It's just eight random ones, and the out order is all out. There really is no best one because they're all different, and they're all I all use them for different reasons. So yeah, that's why I made it with no particular order in this list. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys actually want me to make another video similar to this, leave it in the comments below. I really like sharing my you know list of favorite things with you guys, and uh, I really like helping you out. And I hopefully this help you out again. Uh, if you've already heard of all of these, I'm sorry, but these are programs that I use a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If it helped you, leave a like maybe, and uh, consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching again. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.